I'm back with episode 3 of my leaf of life well there is no dirt in this is just water and if you're wondering if the water smell or anything like that no it don't don't smell um, and also it's just nice and the air is clean and I assess it to make sure there is no bugs or anything in there and basically i put some more leaf of life but as you can see they're sprung up and they're nice and it looks fuller and this was the leaf that is dying that was dying in part part one and in part two i'll show you where it was sprunging up some new leaf and see it here and it just looks fluffy and nice and this is the little thing that i have it on if you look at that that's the little thing and you hear my beautiful puppies in the background I do have three Pomeranians puppy, so they're in the background. All right, so guys, I'm just sharing my leaf of life journey with you. I'm chopping the nature within my environment and I'm using the leaf of life. So I noticed this one, I noticed this one, it, it was just hanging here. So the water dripping off it, but it needs a little attention. So time to time I have to come and talk to the plant and you know make sure it know that it's not lonely or anything like that and fix them to make sure they're growing properly and getting enough nourishment and too much water is not good but sometimes I'll come and sprinkle a little water on the leaves and make sure they're okay I hope this video was helpful so anything that is precious to you mean that it needs nurt nurturing you need care you need attention and if you really truly love someone you're going to pay attention to every fine details and so it's good to have a pet whether it's a plant or an animal it's good to have something that you know you just let go of everything and pay attention to and remember having a life plant in your home is very essential and it's very good even if you don't love flowers but find a plant and have in your home okay it's really good for you know cleansing the environment and